Hi guys, with a lot of excitement, I am filming this video because I have been wanting to vlog about this place for a very long time but I haven't been able to come to this place or travel anywhere spiritual. If you have watched my old videos, you guys know that I mentioned that I am spiritual and I like a lot of my videos used to be me going to places which had some spiritual significance but after like the COVID-19, the pandemic hit and the lockdowns, I couldn't go to quite a lot of places but yeah like I said this I am here at the place uh, the place which I wanted to very much vlog about and I'm excited to show you guys here I'm here at Kazusa uh, at a monastery called Drukralong Shirup Chaling Monastery this is the main Hakka I'll take you guys around the uh, Hakka in a while I, I came here for a retreat so yeah so the red scarf and we have another teaching hall down there uh, so I just I am filming this right now when I'm on a break so yeah and when I have another break next time or in some time I will take you around the Hakage surroundings and whatever that's called the campus I don't know is that called a campus for masters of love but yeah basically I'll take you around with so this is where the retreat is happening. This is the retreat hall. Hi guys, it's 6 a.m. in the morning and I am going to the retreat hall right now. Just done eating breakfast. We have some time before another session starts. Yeah. Cute. I am just going around the retreat hall right now because I thought I'll take this time during the break to talk to you guys. Um, fun fact, I don't know if it's going to be fun or not, but this is the first place where I, where my interest in spirituality began. So I'm very thankful to this place and yeah, I'm just like I said earlier, I'm going around the retreat hall. I will show you guys the Hakka later when i have a longer break okay finally the time has come let me show you around let's go to the gate first yeah i'll see you when i'm at the gate okay so we are here at the gate
after we enter, we see this Haka. This is the main, main temple here. It's quite cold up here. We are at Kabisa. Uh, this monastery is at Kabisa, right? So it's north of the temple, I suppose. And it's kind of cold. When we come down, we have a big prayer wheel, and if we go around, let's go around this Laka one to see what's there. Uh, we have the guest rooms here. So yeah, we are done taking. We are done making a round of the main haka. This. So let's go to the Tara Hall, where the retreat happens, which I already showed you earlier. But let's. Show you where we go there from. That is where the Manidunkor was earlier, the prayer will. And that is where we took the round, where we made the round of Laga. And this is where we go to the um, the Tower Hall from. Yes, that is the Tower Hall. And the place where we do our prayers. Basically, the Tara retreat happens here. So, yeah, this is the wall I just showed you right now. And we are making another round of the Tara Hall so I, can, so I can show you more of the surrounding. Pardon my hair, it's all I know, boily, messy. Oh, yeah. And we are at the back of the hall right now. And again, we are here at the side. This is the view from here. Okay, let's get a better view. Taro Hall, the main haka, and the Manidong Corridor. So, yeah, that's basically it for the surrounding of the haka. So now we're gonna go to the prayer room, the Manidunkur, so I can talk about the little bit on the history of this haka. Probably not much of the history, but the importance or the significance of it, because I actually don't know a lot of history about it. Let's take a sit somewhere and talk. So yeah, this is the best place I could find to talk. It's built and consecrated in 2019. And to talk about the significance of the Lhaka, the Nangtin, or the special relic that we have in every temple, is a statue of So like I was saying, the main relic in the temple here is a statue, a very old, uh, basically 
900 years old statue of Melaripa, which is said to be built by his younger sister. And there are stories where um, the statue could talk. There were stories where the statue would talk and it grew hair and nails. Yeah, very interesting stories. Apart from the significance of the mountain of the monastery, another very important thing about this place is the programs initiated by His Eminence the Galvado Kampo. We have quite a lot of um, quite a lot of um, programs initiated and conducted by His Eminence, such as one such as this very Tara retreat which I came for and there are other retreats known as the Guru Yoga, uh, the fasting retreat and so on. Yeah, these programs or the retreats are all initiated by His Eminence which we are very thankful for because it is an opportunity for uh, some lay practitioners like myself and uh, almost all the uh, participants of the retreat so yeah I think that's it for now I'll just go back to the hall and chant some prayers today is the second last day and we have the closing ceremony or the last day of the retreat tomorrow so I will meet you guys tomorrow Bye. Hi guys, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. <sighs> Taking some milk as offerings. Thank you.